All right, today I'm going to show you how to use this handy dandy wine key to open this bottle of wine right here, the Rubino Salute. I really like it. I don't know about this one. We're going to try it. 2015. I haven't had the 2015 yet. I've had the 2014 and the 2012. We'll give this a try, but today it's not about uh, the wine tasting. It's about opening the bottle with this wine key. The reason we call it a wine key, the reason we call it a wine key is because it is multi-purpose. Not only does it have a corkscrew, or uh, sometimes we call this the worm, it also has a lever, which you use to like counterbalance opening the wine once you get the worm all the way down through the middle of the corkscrew. And it also has this knife, sometimes known as a label cutter, or foil cutter, or wrapper cutter. Um, most of the times though, with most labels, sometimes I don't even have labels up here. I just use my, my, my fingers. But if you want to use a knife, you can. And normally you just go like this. You get it, get it up and under the label and go whoosh. Uh, sometimes like some, some have wax. Those get kind of, uh, you gotta get kind of creative on those. Those, uh, the bottles with wax, you know, you can use your foil cutter or it could even be called a wax cutter at that point and you go around it and you cut off the top. But today we're just gonna, we're gonna mostly uh, just work with the, the lever and the worm. Also the, you know, it looks like a corkscrew, right? Excuse that little man. He's, he is a very rambunctious fellow. Anyhow, okay, the important thing here is to get this worm as close to the middle of the cork as you can, meaning the middle width of the cork. And you also, want to make sure uh, that you don't go too far down with, with the, the, the worm or the corkscrew. If you go too far down, this lever won't be able to catch here at the top of the bottle. This takes, don't, don't get discouraged at the first time uh, you, you, you um, don't get the bottle open or you have to like, you have to like, you know, um, you have to, uh, you know, go back out with the worm and try again. Um, it, it takes a few tries. It's, it, I feel it's a, it's a little bit more difficult uh, than like a butterfly corkscrew or even maybe a regular corkscrew. But once you get this down, this is, this is way nice and it's super incognito like, like to use in a restaurant. Or, uh, also notice that when you go into the corkscrew, it's almost always clockwise. So you see like from a clock perspective, you're going clockwise. See how it's like tick, 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 tick. So it's clockwise down into the corkscrew. If you mess it up, of course, counterclockwise out of the corkscrew. Uh, well, let's bring, uh, push, push the, the handle side down. Um, you'll see that this lever is a little too far, but we can actually use the second catch of the lever maybe to, to, help, to help us get us going. See how this uh, pushes in here? It's a, uh, it'll, get us, it'll get us started. So you see that? You see, you can actually push. See how that arrow is pointed there? You can push on this and use that as like a secondary counterbalance. So you pull up. Okay, let's bring this, let's bring the, the handle back down. Now we can use the, the main part of the lever, the, the bottom part here. And then you're gonna pull up on your handle here. And there you go, all open. My Deal Stash.